Hey, what's up? I'm Sean. I live in Washington's Methow River Valley. I'm a physicist, I like to play in the outdoors, and I have a brand new project that I want to tell you all about. The project revolves around a lot of heavy mathematics, specifically the fisher grice monster group. Let me explain. The monster group has been on my to-do list since I started graduate school. The very first paper I was given to peruse was Witten's 2 plus 1 dimensional gravity revisited. Which in retrospect is crazy, why would you give that to a first year graduate student? That doesn't make any sense, but it was really interesting, admittedly, so that's a paper that I ended up falling in love with the whole subject with. He tries to make a connection between BTZ black holes and a lot of this moonshine uh, nonsense. The thought was, at the time, was that the moonshine module would somehow represent the vacuum state um, of ADS. To be fair, we did end up doing some work in 2 plus 1 dimensional supergravity, so it was worth it. But monstrous moonshine is something that was, it just got put on that to-do list, and that to-do list kept growing and growing and growing, and then we all got really excited about supersymmetry and cosmology. But now, now is the time. I am so stoked. This thing is not safe. For a long time, I really wanted to try to find a way to combine my love of trail running with physics, with math. And, you know, it took a lot of false starts to realize that they, they just, there's no natural way to put them together. So for this project, I decided to split them apart. The first part is gonna be lectures. I'm still going to go outside, but I'm going to bring my chalkboard and we're going to go into nitty gritty details about vertex operator algebras. The second part is I'm going to be doing daily vlogs. Those vlogs are going to accompany the lectures. I'll try to give a little context behind the ideas that are presented, um, and I'll also definitely try to share more of this beautiful abundance of trails that we have out in the Methow Valley. For me anyway, it's a great way to contextualize that discussion. It also turned out that once I started talking math on the trail, it felt a little bit more natural. The lectures are going to loosely follow the book Vertex Operator Algebras and the Monster by Frankel, Lupowski, and Merman. So you can consider that the reference text, but I'll definitely sprinkle some other things in as well. Finally, I hope that this kind of inspires people to do the same thing. I really, I really am a big fan of open, complete democratic access to knowledge, especially in the mathematics and physics space, because that's, that's what I know, that's where I've been, that's where I've been playing. So um, no weird structures, no time constraints, no costs, no hidden fees, no clubs you gotta join, no real email lists. Uh, you know, sure, we can, we can talk about bonus material, but for the core subject, for the actual lectures, for the information, I am universally excited about this. I'll be going slow, almost glacially slow. I want to make sure that I cover only one idea per video. So yes, I'm doing videos. I'll also publish my lecture notes and probably the audio. I'll be packaging this information on as many channels as I can think of. And that's kind of the idea, literal broadcasting. I want to make it easier for students and educators alike to kind of curate their own playlists for the material that they're interested in studying. I'm starting with vertex operator algebras because I'm really interested in them. And I definitely am interested enough to see this project through to completion. If it works, then the next stage would probably be something a little less niche. Maybe we'll look for something with more utility, more general applicability, like quantum mechanics or relativity, or maybe even freshman physics. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm up to. And I'm doing it up amongst the mountains and the rivers and the trees. And I'd love for you to join me.
I love rivers. <laughs>